obviously the eyes of the world. It's on Alec Alexander Usyk and Anthony Joshua. Every it's well documented how Joshua lost in really convincing fashion against the the Ukrainian last uh, September, but. This is about redemption. This is about clawing your way back to, to the standards people you've set expect and people and people expect of you. What are your ex early expectations tomorrow, clearly, in Saudi Arabia? Honestly, I'd like to see the first couple of rounds. <laughs> I'd like to see the mindset that mm. uh, Joshua has brought into the game, into the fight. Uh, Joshua has talked about, in the last fight, the mistake he made, and a couple of well, people have advised him, and Nelson advised him, and I think um, his countryman, Adesanya, mm. the UFC fighter, has also advised him to be aggressive, not to try and box with uh, uh, Alexander. Usyk is a boxer. A boxer is somebody, they are both boxers, but technical, technical mm. terms, a boxer is somebody who can move, bob and weave, uh, run away from danger, score points with the jab, and all of that. A fighter is somebody who goes in there, a la Mike Tyson, just wants to knock you out. Mm. So they are telling him to be a bit more of a fighter that he tried to outbox a boxer in the last fight, and that's why he lost some points. Because Yusik was all over the place, outwitted him, was faster, uh, with the jab, with the speed of thought, speed of movement, and at the end of the day, he lost the fight on points. So I think Joshua's got to believe that he can knock Yusik out. Um, he has to try and stay out of trouble, and um, s prepare his mind that the fight might last. It, it's not going to be um, an early fight, mm. He's not going to knock, you think he's not somebody you knock out in a round or two. I don't think so. So you have to have the staying power to last long into the fight. Because my worry is that if he goes the distance, I think you see Queens. Mm. Because of his technical ability and the fact that I think he will amass more points. So I'm feeling that Anthony Joshua might need a knockout to win this fight. Okay, so who has Or a stoppage. Mm. Going to this fight now, who, in your in your opinion, who do you think has the greater motivation? Because you've got to look at Joshua and say, obviously, the way he lost the fight, he wasn't quite really happy with it. You know, his corner were very displeased that he lost in very convincing fashion. And then you look at an Usyk, who clearly, you know, the last few months has not really been good for him from a country perspective. Mm, you mm, know, who do you think... Mm goes into this fight with m a better motivation? I would have said Joshua, mm. but the Ukraine crisis means that Usyk has a lot of motivation as mm. well. Um, he wants to inspire his countrymen. He wants to give them some joy, some happiness in bleak times. You know, he actually, the fight was postponed because he went to go and fight. Mm. And then he got, he got special dispensation to come, and, to come out of Ukraine and train for the fight and get the fight done. Joshua's motivation is the fact that when champions lose all they want to do, all they think about is, I want to win my belts yeah. back. So motivation for him is there. But the Ukraine, I mean, Russia-Ukraine fight has changed the, the, the mindset a little bit. And um, Alexander Yusic would not see this as just a fight. He sees it as a statement and something he can do to inspire his countrymen. And that, that is massive. So okay, let, it's let, tough to okay, say yeah. who is uh, more motivated. Okay, um, we've got some, some graphics um, with the stats of Joshua, 26 mm. fight, 24 win, 22 technical knockout, and two losses. One was against Alexander Usyk, currently um, 109 kg, while um, the Alexander Usyk, the Ukrainian 19 fight, 19 wins, hasn't lost any 13 technical knockouts, and is weighing just 100 kg. Mm. You think what they're mm. weighing comes into play mm. at all mm. on day? For me, technically, Usyk has bulked up a little bit. Yeah. I don't think he was this heavy mm. in the first fight. And when you bulk up as a fighter, um, somebody who moves a lot, whether that will affect your the weight gain will affect mm. your movement on the, on the on the on the on the in the ring, and probably that will make you a bit slower and more susceptible to being punched or to being hit. We wait to see because. If you add more weight, you're not going to be as fast as you were when you lift and lighter. So maybe that's a technical factor there that might play to um, uh, Anthony Joshua's advantage. But it also means that he packs a heavier punch mm. because he's padded mm. more muscle. <laughs> and so um, it, it, it's a tough balancing act. But it's going to be a fascinating fight. Yeah, it, it should be a fascinating fight. And I can tell you that um, follow us on our Fans Connect Club on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. What I'd like, I'd like us to talk about is, is the fact that clearly the, the neutrals, the boxing fans want to see 
Joshua and 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 Fury, mm. and they would be muting that Joshua comes out uh, yeah. out of this one. Mm. But the question is, if Joshua comes out of this one defeated, does that signal the end of his career? No, I don't think so. A lot of people have suggested that. I don't think so. Except he wants to walk away. Mm. Some have suggested that he might walk away, but I don't think so. I think um, he would want to prove a point. I think it probably there will be a trilogy. But, you know, trilogy always depend on one win either way or one draw and one win either way, like it happened in the John Wilder Tyson Fury trilogy. Let's assume if he loses, I still think it's a big enough draw to still get played. Probably he will, might have to rebuild his uh, reputation. You know, he might have to take one or two, quote unquote, lesser fights before he can get another shot at the title if you see doesn't give him um, a, a title shot. He might have to fight one of the lesser lights of the heavyweight division and get a couple of wins under his belt, and then he has a, a shot again. So that's the. What I think is still has he, a has good he got the moral fiber? Role. Has he got that that fiber in him that if he loses, has he got that fiber in him to say, "I've got to come back"? That motivation of you know going again, has he got it in him? I'll say this: He's Nigerian. Mm. <laughs> He's got a Nigerian spirit. We are we are. We are, we are very, very motivated people, mm. even though uh, he's Britain by nationality, but he, he identifies with Nigeria, he comes here. He, he's always carry his Nigerianness on his sleeve. So I think that indomitable spirit of, no, I'm not gonna go down a loser, because I don't think there's any fighter that wants to be remembered for losing their last fight. Yeah. They always want to go out on a high. So um, if he loses, I, I, I feel he would find a way to come back, he is a big enough off box office draw commercially. I think he will command enough to be able to get a couple of fights. The only thing is that, like I said, he might have to rebuild his reputation by taking one or two lesser fights. Having said that, though, conversely, if he wins, I have no Tyson Fury has talked about retirement a couple of times, but I think <laughs> he's just blabbing. If he wins, there is absolutely no way. I don't know whether I don't know whether he has a clause to give Alexander Usyk a rematch, like a trilogy, like mm. we said. We don't know, but. If that is not there, if um, Anthony Joshua wins, you can bet your last dollar. Next summer, we're going to have Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. And we would love that. We would absolutely love that. Everybody wants, every boxing fan wants to see Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. But first, we must see Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk. That comes up tomorrow.